just the fact that we're the crowd is so much the camera can't oh. see. Uh, you know, anytime you have a game like that, it's, it's an impressive deal. Um, you know, we were kind of waiting. You know, he last year he was still coming off that knee injury and, and getting the confidence in it. And, uh, he's a young guy with a lot of talent and, and a really good future. How's he handled getting a lot of attention suddenly? And I'm um, sure with his family and friends, but even maybe his teammates. And you know, he's a he's a good young man. You know, he's a fun guy to be around. I haven't seen him change. Uh -huh. Last year was it more? Physically, he had to get up to speed after the knee injuries, or well, did he have a lot to learn as far as pass blocking and that sort of thing? Well, it's always when you're a freshman coming in, the learning curve's huge. But, uh, you know, it's hard when you come back from a, a, a major injury, and, and I always talk about people about knees injuries, knee injuries. There's two parts to it. There's the, the physical rehab and the mental rehab. Uh, being able to go stick your foot in the ground and trust that, that stability's going to be there. And then getting the confidence to just go run. You know, there's a guy who hadn't run for a couple of years. It's been good. And a lot of what you saw there was what he built up during the spring. You know, that was one of our goals offensively was to get him a ton of carries, let him get comfortable and run the ball. Was Saturday the day that he sort of got that mental well, he, part of the He kind of hit a couple things. I think Coach Gould did a great job helping him, you know, and, and uh, he made one spectacular run. And the other one just blew by everybody. And so, you know, he's got some talent. How much have you – I know you were pretty hopeful about the way they used the tight ends, and now with – with Hagen down and Rogers a little iffy, it's the best laid plans of my cement kind of fallen by the wayside. It's football. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what What do you do to adjust? Well, I, you know, a little bit. You always bring the young guys along. The next guy's got to step up, but then you got to tailor the plan. That's one good thing about what we do is there's always, you know, try to put our personnel in the game to get the best people in there. Just like we've tried to use our our tailbacks and have two of them at times. So. <laughs> That's something we got to continue to do, and again, adjust when we have to adjust. Does that mean what, put more shoulders on the running backs and the wide receivers now that they kind of have to be a little bit? Of a they're going to have to play a little bit more. Yeah, you know, you take when you take a couple veteran guys out, and Richard's not really a veteran guy, but he's he's getting there. Um, you got to adjust in other ways. Young guys got to step up, and then you got to adjust your plans a little bit. What do you uh, uh, do you expect to have Rogers for this game? Uh, I leave all the injuries. I got my new quote. I'm leaving all the injuries to the head coach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, How's that? More, more in your in your wheelhouse. Uh, how come Schlinky's shotgun snaps have been deteriorating? Ah, um, that's a good way of looking at it. Uh, he was consistently low all game long, yeah. and he got a little frustrated. And it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like his his snaps have been good. I don't know if they've been deteriorating. I said last game they weren't good. Yeah. They're were consistently low. So. I would, and he got a little bit off rhythm with it and got some things. Um, we've worked on some stuff this week and clean changed a little fundamental things. And his snaps have been pretty solid this week in practice. Okay. So it's a, there's a feel to that. And there's a, you know obviously there's technique, yeah. but it's also a feel. It's, it's I hate to tie it into a golf swing or yeah. you know and, and sometimes you get a little bit off and you got to get back to basics. Yeah. Uh, I noticed Maximo was in there kind of at the end in, in, in the enclosed part of the stadium with all the noise and had that uh oh look on his face. Is he, is he going to get more PT as we move, move You know, forward? we'll kind of see how the game plays out. You know, he's a young guy that's got a very uh, hardworking, very smart, intelligent young guy, you know, that's been able to pick a lot of stuff up and probably do more than you could do with a guy in his situation. Um, we'll see how the game unfolds and how he fits into that. Part of it's still. You know, practice speed is one thing, and, and classroom is yeah. one thing. But then the game, and then you getting out there and doing it, and all those things. But he's done a he's done a great job picking up the offense. How are they defensively in terms of putting pressure on the quarterback? And I know last year was a difficult game for Jack down there or up here against yeah. us. Um, they're good. They got such great speed. Obviously, um, they move and they in their pressures they move a lot of guys and and, uh, and those things. You have to be uh, real good with your. It's it's not the power that we saw last week from Ohio State the power and the mass, yeah. it's more the speed and the quickness and the change of direction that we have to deal with. His decision making has to be just real quick. Well, yeah, and then we got to protect better. <laughs> you know, we, we, we can't, we got to, again, getting back to basic fundamentals, you know, our, as you look at our last game, our sets went bad. You know, we, we got away from our basic fundamentals, and sometimes the harder you try at those things, the more you make it worse. You run block pretty well. Uh, better in some ways, uh -huh. uh, I like to be more consistent, right. you know, I think we're, and, I, and that's kind of what I've said all along with this group is I think we're going to get better every week. We, you know, and by the end we'll be pretty good. But we just we don't have, don't have a lot of patience. We got to get better now. You need to be better now. In yeah. Pass blocking. Right, yes. Right oh yeah. Now. Yeah. Oh yeah.
Who's your, who's your right tackle this week? Um, <clears throat> we'll see. Um, again, I don't want to comment on injuries, but we'll see if Summers Gavin can go or Bill Tindall will be there. Considering the environment and quality of opposition, how would you grade uh, Zach Maynard's game? It seemed like maybe one of the best he's had. I think here. he had a real solid game. I, you know, made some good throws, some good reads, did some, managed the game real well. Um, and like we're at the third game going into the fourth game now, I think he's going to even take another step and keep going. So what are the things he can still do better, you think? Well, you know, you guys keep asking me these questions, but I'm like, everybody always gets better. So, you know. It's just degrees of things. It's just degrees of things, uh -huh. you know. It seems when he's when he is pressured, when he is moving, he's better when 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 that's happening as opposed to when he has all day to throw. Then it's like, oh, where, where do I go? Yeah. Well, he's he's made some good things, and we got to help him out too. There's a there's a one time in there, we, you know, we got to, um, especially when the quarterback gets out of the pocket, and scramble happens. We got to get receivers to get to the open spots, and that's got to happen a little bit better. Um, but you know, Zach is very good on the move, you know, and. and you like that about him, his ability to make things happen. Um, you know, as coaches, we always want to diagram everything perfect, and then, you know, then you put on highlights and you see some guy who doing something special and making a play. And, and Zach has that ability, and that's what's so good about him. When it breaks down like that, I presume Zach has a pretty good feel for where Keenan's going to be. But with those freshman wideouts, is that what they have to learn how to well, do? Well, there's we have we have scramble <laughs> rules we call it, and when the quarterback starts scrambling, everybody has to get to certain spots and. You know, and then that way he's got a progression to look for and, and open areas to look. Very good. Okay. Thanks, Jim. Okay. Right, thank thanks, you. guys. Okay.